Hi guys, this is Dr. Kiro Chandra Panda back again to talk about topics related to otolaryngology and audiology. In this video, I am talking about diabetes and sensory neural hearing loss and the rationale behind diabetes causing sensory neural hearing loss. Coming up, diabetes is a chronic disease. If you have diabetes for a while, you start taking medications and the sugar level actually comes down a bit. But over the years, the effects of these drugs sort of wears off and you wind up having to add more and more and more medications. Correspondingly, what happens is that no matter what drugs you take, the initial effects of these drugs are very good, say up to about six months. Then after about six months, the effects of these drugs wears off and if you have had diabetes for a long time, say 10, 12 or 15 years and you started off with one medication, then you are constrained to add two agents, three agents, four agents and so on and so forth. The situation might be so that you might have to depend on insulin and more insulin and more insulin. And the range could be from mild diabetes to severe diabetes. Mild diabetes where people are on little bit of metformin and severe diabetes where people are on lot of insulin. Therefore, no matter what everybody tells you, the fact is that your diabetes is getting worse and worse and worse day by day. And the primary reason for this is that all the treatments are directed towards treating the sugar levels and not the diabetes. And the heart of the problem of diabetes is insulin resistance. And the cause of insulin resistance is insulin itself. Therefore, it doesn't matter if your sugar levels are well controlled or poorly controlled. You still got complications out of diabetes. Diabetes retinopathy, stroke, hearing loss, nephropathy and so on and so forth. Diabetes is the single most important metabolic disorder that may affect any organ in the human body. Research pertaining to macro and microvascular changes in diabetes have been extensively studied. But hearing loss in diabetes has received very less attention and more research has to be carried out to know the magnitude of the problem, the cause and effect relationship and to create awareness among healthcare professionals and lay persons. The reasons behind diabetes causing sensory neural hearing loss could be the following. Number one, advanced glycation end product accumulation, impaired vasodilatation due to nitric oxide inhibition, smooth muscle cell dysfunction, accelerated atherosclerosis and severe inflammation. Now I shall explain to you the audiogram patterns, the audiometric findings, the pure tone audiogram patterns in cases with diabetes mellitus. Generally in the initial stages, you would observe a cookie bite type of audiogram where the mid frequencies are more affected compared to the lower frequency and higher frequencies. And in the later stages, you would observe high frequency hearing loss that is beyond 2 kHz which depicts sensory type of presbycusis. These changes primarily occurs due to vascular damages of the labyrinthine artery. Now as you can see the audiograms here, this is the, this is the initial stage, the cookie bite type of hearing loss and in the later stages that is high frequency sensory neural hearing loss. Thank you.